Well, Lena, we lost the sleep. We did. <laughs> and we lost the warm weather. We did. It'll be back eventually. I, I know. Please inform us. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, just the messenger here. Definitely a bit of a roller coaster just ride. Just for a this. short time, losing the warm weather? <laughs> 50s on Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, well, I'll yeah, take we'll it. get there. Something I'll to look forward it. to. I, yeah, I agree. You know what? And at least uh, the snow, you know, really not looking like we'll see a whole lot of that this week. Maybe some flurries, maybe a, a little bit. But for the most part, the wind is the problem and the main theme it has been this weekend. It's going to continue into Monday. And with it, unseasonably cold temperatures. We have an Arctic front that's going to push through later on today. So the winds are going to go cranking once again. And as we wake up tomorrow and start our work week, send the kids to the bus stop, uh, single digit and potentially negative wind chill. So that's dangerously cold. Definitely make sure you're covering up every inch of exposed skin and certainly don't forget about the pets either. We'll see some improvements, uh, but we got to wait until Tuesday. In fact, we're watching several chances for light precipitation, low impact. At this point, it's actually looking like most of them miss us to our south. So could be a close clip. And for today, again, we're just talking about flurries, maybe when that uh, front passes through we're going to squeeze out some snow but we also have to worry about the wind that's really our major concern gusts up to 50 miles an hour at times wind advisory goes into effect at noon and six with us through midnight so as the day goes on the winds continue to increase and really ramp up we'll see sustained flow out of the northwest 20 to 30 miles an hour again gusts to 50 at times so power outages are possible and certainly want to charge up those devices we could see some minimal isolated tree damage power line damage definitely prepare in advance for that in addition to that we have the red flag warning that's going to stick with us through 8 p.m. tonight. That's because we've got the high winds, we got the low humidity, and we've got that dry vegetation. So there's an increased fire risk in areas that no longer have a snowpack, which after we saw, you know, that nice taste of spring at this point is most of us. So for today, we'll see a good amount of morning and even early afternoon sunshine, but the clouds increase as the day goes on as that front approaches and then the winds really start to crank. Again, we could squeeze out some flurries with the passing of the front, but the limiting factor is the moisture. The air in place is dry, so it's really just the wind we have to worry about here. Uh, Hill towns and higher terrain, we'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, valley low to mid 40s. But once you factor in that wind, we're just really not going to feel it. And we're definitely not going to feel it in the overnight hours. Skies are going to clear once that front uh, hightails it out of here. We turn blustery. Winds really ramp up and we wake up feeling like it's single digits or even below zero. So dangerously cold temperatures to start the day tomorrow. Tomorrow we see plenty of sunshine, in fact not a cloud in the sky, but it's not really going to help us all that much. You know, the March sun is stronger, so it's going to do us a little bit of favors, but it's going to be brutally cold and it's definitely going to be windy. The winds will relax a little, but they stick with us for Monday. Temperatures in the 20s barely breaking 30 or struggling to at least try, uh, but the issue here is the wind chill. So you see them go crashing overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Again, eastern slopes of the Berkshires flirting with values as low as negative 50 that's dangerously cold. No wind chill advisories in place yet. I'm expecting that some will be issued, but certainly cover every inch of exposed skin as you head out the door for work and as you send the kids to the bus stop. Very important to note, it's going to feel cold all day long here. You know, we'll get into at least above zero as the afternoon and evening goes on into the teens, but it's going to feel cold all day and then Tuesday improvements will start. Now, the winds ramping up 20 to 30 miles an hour at times. These are wind gusts here, but as we head into the evening, here we go, 40 to 50 miles an hour. That sticks with us. The worst of it between about 2 and 10 p.m. this evening and then they'll start to kind of relax as we head into tomorrow but it's still going to be cold it's still going to be windy on Monday just not quite as bad as the overnight hours of today now we'll see again a good amount of you know morning sunshine clouds will build here comes the potential for those snow flurries if it comes in a quick burst or a quick shot could reduce visibility at times for some we're talking trace amounts so most of us do remain dry here and then plenty of sunshine at least on tap for Monday uh, just really no warmth then here approaches our next chance for rain now, I talked about the limiting factor being moisture. So you see there's really not a whole moisture here right now, which is why we won't see a lot today. Here comes our next potential, though. This system currently over the Midwest. It is causing tornado warnings and some severe weather for the folks out there. But it's looking like it grazes us and misses us to our south. So for the most part, I think the risk is minimal. On Tuesday into Wednesday, we do have another shot at some precipitation later in the week. We'll be watching these closely for you. But right now, they look to be mostly misses or mostly minimal, temperatures will rise as the week goes on. And, uh, you know, certainly stick with us for updates on the chances for precip. Kayla, back over to you. All right, Lena, thanks. Chris Harrison, 